Now let's work on optimization problems. This first one is somewhat simple. Find two numbers whose difference is 20 and whose product is a minimum. So I'm going to call these two numbers x and y. And their difference is 20. So I can say that x minus y is equal to 20. And what I want to minimize, though, is the product. I'm going to call the product P. And um, what is the product of x and y? Well, just x times y. The product is when we multiply things, of course. Now, I want to minimize P. How can I do that? Well, first I need to have just one variable for this function. And I have x and y. And I want to, I want to get rid of either one of them. So what I'm going to do here is that I will isolate x for our difference uh, equation. So I will add a y to both sides of the equation. Okay, so these cancel out. So I bring down the x and I get 20 plus y. So I will take this and plug it into x. So p is going to be equal to 20 plus y times y. Then I can distribute the y. So I get 20y plus y squared. Okay, and remember that our goal is to find the minimum product. So I want to minimize p. And how can I do that? Well, I'm going to take the derivative of p and set it equal to 0. When we take the derivative of something and set it equal to 0, we're going to find at least local minima or local maxima. So we're going to find extreme values, right? So um, the derivative of 20y is just 20. The derivative of y squared is just 2y. Now I want to set that equal to 0. Because remember too that the slope, when we set the slope of a function, right, or when the slope is equal to zero, it's either going to be a, a summit or a valley here. Like the top of the hill, I guess that's called a summit, right? And the bottom of the valley. So now we just need to solve for y. So 20 plus 2y equals zero. I can subtract 20 for both sides of the equation. 2y is equal to negative 20. Then I can divide both sides by 2. And y is equal to negative 20 divided by 2, negative 10. What does that mean? Well, that means that when y is 20, or sorry, when y is negative 10, that's what I meant, we have potentially a minimum product. We're going to check in a second, by the way. But if y is negative 10, what is x? I can plug in the negative 10 right here. So x is equal to 20 plus negative 10, which is equal to 20 minus 10, which is 10. So the two numbers are 10 and negative 10. But will that give us actually a really a minimum product? Well, let's, let's check it out. So the product of 10 and negative 10 is negative 100. So now let's try different numbers. Let's say that I take maybe 11 and negative 9 instead. Now I'm just testing to make sure that, you know, negative 10 and 10 actually give me, um, so that's x and that's y, they actually give me the minimum product of, with, of numbers with a difference of 20. So 11 times negative 9 is negative 99. Hmm. That is higher than negative 100. So, so far so good. Well, let's say then, let's take another two numbers. Let's say, for example, um, 11, no, I already used 11, 20 and uh, 0. Well, 20 times 0 is 0. 0 is way higher than negative 100. And actually, that basically shows that since we know that we have a a critical value when y is negative 10 because we set the derivative set it equal to 0 solved for y this is actually the minimum possible product 
great, right? So that is the case. The two numbers are actually 10 and negative 10. That's it.